He said, do you need cocaine? That's what he said. How zesty. But uh, don't be wearing white pants, those girly jeans and selling cocaine. He said, do you need cocaine? Oh, they're not really, brother. I don't really want to end up in Indian prison. Thank you for the offer. But no. What do you call Indian food in India? What do you call Indian food in India? You don't know? Food. You just call it food, right? <laughs> because you don't call it Indian food because you're in India, right? <laughs> that makes sense, right? <laughs> this is my new question. This is my new question, right? Hey, how are you? This is my new question for Indians. What do you call Indian food in India? So, and the answer is food, obviously. Right. Friend, I have a question for you, okay? A question, okay? What do you call Indian food in India? What do you call Indian food in India? You don't know? You don't understand? You don't know the answer? Okay, okay. She doesn't know. You come tell her, come tell her. Come tell her what the answer is. Come tell her. I'll tell you, I'll tell you. The answer is Indian food in India is just called food. Because you don't call it Indian food because you're in India, right? That makes sense, right? That makes sense, right? <laughs> that makes sense, right? Indian food in India is just called food, right? <laughs> well, that's a cleaner. What do you call Indian food in India? Food. She only got a friend. <laughs> Her friend's like, oh, I don't know. What do you call Indian food in India? I was like, food, you call it food, because you're in India, you don't call it Indian food, it's food, it's just food. Makes sense, right? <laughs> you know, when I was a bouncer, I saw this guy's covered in scars, right? When I was a bouncer, we used to have this saying, you know, it's even more dangerous than a guy who's covered in scars? The guy that put them there. The guy that put them, the scars on his face, you know what I mean? So, that was the same we used to have. Hello brother, how are you? Hello mate, how are you? So I was in the girl car with these African girls, right? You saw the vlog. Uh, so, like a couple of vlogs ago, right? And the African girl said, I got advice on marriage, right? When you get married, when a girl gets married in Africa, there's two stomachs they have to fill. There's the food stomach for the husband and then there's the sex stomach. So there's the food stomach and the sex stomach. And both appetites need to be satisfied. As, uh, they have to be satisfied with both appetites. I was like, damn mate, I'm sending my girlfriend to, a, to an African bloody marriage course, mate. You know what I mean? <laughs> they had funny sayings, they were like, your relationship needs to be strong like an elephant's thigh. They had some funny sayings in Africa. They had some really, like, uh, yeah, it made sense. They had some funny sayings, you know? But it made sense. Manila is significantly more dangerous than this place. Like, in Manila, it's still a bit of a tip. If you see two people on a bike in Manila, you always assume the second person's a shooter, right? Always. But two people like this, you always duck for cover. You assume the second person's a shooter. So, you know, here, it's not like that. It's just not like that at all. Haircut, 80 rupees. It's under a dollar. Uh, that's no, under two dollars. Under two dollars. Perfect. It's highly likely I'll be tipping. <laughs> so, yeah. This before. Try to bougie for the poor. And then we'll do it after. So, yeah, so, so, yeah. I always get the Urban Ranger haircut from Fallout 4. It's called the Urban Ranger. I get the same haircut every time. I have to have a shave, it looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't get a shave as well. Yep, I get cooks. 
the floor. The floor. So this is after. I had a crazy shave. I, I'm a bit red, I got a few big lumps on my face where he kind of scraped the razor, but it was good. It was a great experience. Uh, something you gotta do once, right? Hello. So there's something good to do once, right? So yeah, it was good. It's like cut my nose, ears, eyebrows, everything. I've got a bit of sensitive skin from the uh, rash. Got a few bit of a razor rash, but yeah, it was good. He used all this like moisturizer and all this kind of weird stuff. So yeah, it was good. It's an experience. I don't usually shave like that because I get razor rash, but I don't usually shave like that usually. But I thought in India, I'd give it a go. Man, I was a bit paranoid. Like there's a point there where I was dozing off and someone came and I was like, whoa, grab the scissors. Because yeah, like my back's to the door. There's basically a knife on my throat, right? And you know, come on, mate. So I was a bit, I felt a bit vulnerable in there, my back to the door. Being on your own, getting a shave with your back to the door, it's not tactically sound, man. I'm telling you, it's not tactically sound. She's selling the fish bro. This is India. Hey, hello. He had a bit of blood, he did cut me when I was shaving, there was a little cut. But it was very good mate. Wow, they put a stone on my face, it was really it was really nice. I think he turned the camera a bit so you didn't get it all. But he put like a stone on my face, like that was kind of good. I won't shave for a week now, so it grows back, you know, my skin's not sensitive. Listen to me, how zesty, my sensitive skin. <laughs> but I could feel it scraping, especially on my moustache. I was like, man, I can feel that shit scraping. It's pretty sore. Hi, <laughs> India, brother. Hi. Yeah, let's have a quick look in Starbucks. Artistry in every sip. Oh, marketing department. Oh, good, good job, good job. Go to Starbucks now. Man, it smells good. It smells good. Mm. This is Starbucks India. Damn, that cake looks alright. Cinnamon, classic cinnamon swirls. Ooh. 
that looks all right. Chicken and English muffin. Ooh, hello, how are you? Oh, this looks good. Man, this all looks good, but I have to eat Indian food. I have to eat Indian food. I'm in India, I haven't eaten any Indian food. It'd be a travesty of justice to go to McDonald's and a Starbucks. All right, well, technically I did eat Indian food. I had a veggie burger yesterday, not by choice, I thought it was chicken. And I was like, oh, this is a veggie burger. And then um, today I had that spicy, that girl was like, oh, so no, don't have the spicy, you're a Westerner. I was like, listen, love, I can take it, mate. I can take it. Relax, mate. So, yeah. So, oh, it's coming to face, mate. There you go. Taco Bell. So we've got Taco Bell, KFC, McDonald's, Subway. I get two waters and I get uh, a cup full of ice. And I have ice water, that's it. It's hard to get ice water, mate. You go to restaurants, even nice ones. So I just carry my own waters and my own ice. So that's what we'll do. Okay, so the chair's here, but we've got to move the chair around here because we never sit with our back to a door, bro. Never. It's like, never do it, right? And this is my little life hack, right? So, two waters, 50, 50 rupee each, two dollars each, and um, ice, to ice water. There you go. Yeah, you want to stand up? You want to go back to back? Yes. Here, try it. Ah. Six six. Big, right? <laughs> What's your name? Zach. I'm Ian. Pleased to meet you. You like four? He's from Australia. Oh, really? Yeah, cool. All right, bar. Have a good one. Hi, right, thanks. The kids comes up and like, how tall are you? I was like, 6'6". Six, six. Aussie brother. So they know my accent from cricket. They're like, we know your accent from the cricket. I was like, oh, okay. Right, we're in India, let's get some Indian food. Desserts, mate. That looks good. Hello, how are you? Okay, so I just got a small butter chicken and uh, a Coke. So this is the thing. So they add the tax. Someone added up, I was like, oh, you overcharged me. Then I asked tax, tax. I was like, alright, alright, alright. So, cool, all good. So I officially would have eaten um, I would fish would have eaten Indian food in India, so it's good, right? My first Indian food in India, so let's see how it goes. Let's have a look, okay. Uh. Oh, is there no rice? Rice? Can I get some rice? Rice? Yes, what? Oh, sorry? What are you doing? Okay. How much is rice? Rice, butter, okay, I'll get some rice as well. Rice. Yeah, yeah. So rice is not standard, all extra rice. So it's rice, smarty, butter chicken, naan, and whatever extra there is. And there's a cock. So let's smash it. Let's go. Mate, it's really good. Really good. It's probably the best butter chicken I've ever had. That's really good. Pop quiz. What do they call Indian food in India? Food. That's it. India. It's good. First time. It's good. First Indian food in India. Hey, what do you call Indian food in India? Indian. Uh, what did you get? Uh, you call Indian food in India food. Because you don't call Indian food in India food. Indian food. It's called it's food, right? True. True, right? <laughs> True, right? Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> All right. I just knocked that girl. <laughs> I just said, what do you call Indian food in India? And he's like, butter chicken. I said, no, you call it food. Indian food is called food in India, right? You don't call it Indian food, you just call it food. I've been eating one meal a day, I've been in calorie deficit and I lost 10 kilos. That's the first time in a long time I've had two meals. And you can just feel the glycogen in your muscles, just, from, you know, just the strength coming back. Like, so I'm really ready for a, just a, a ripper of workout. I'll get a good night's sleep. I'll, I'll smash a workout tomorrow, mate. It's gonna be awesome, I'm so excited. 
So there you go, it's an R. So if Jessica's here, she'd be eating a wild chicken, 100% mate. This is where she'd be. She'd be like, I don't want any food. I want wild chicken. Hello. Jessica loves chicken, mate. She loves fried chicken. Like, fried chicken and rice, that's all I eat. Like, I, you know, I'll eat it every now and again, mate, but I'm beef over chicken. And um, I mean, I don't mind the rice, but every meal's like chicken and rice. Like I go to McDonald's. She goes, oh, I went to McDonald's. I missed you so much. I was like, I was like, what did you order? Fried chicken and rice? She's like, yeah, fried chicken and rice. I like, mate, how are you? Huh? Ice cream, ah. Uh, nice on the lips, but it's hard on the hips, mate. This is the rainforest resto bar. So, so. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh, Nazis. They're not Nazis, that's actually Buddhism. Let's have a quick look. A bit low for the head. Hey. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, it's looking. Ah, oh, looks good. And you saw the symbol, you expect something anti Semitic. There you go. So that's not the, it's not the swastika, right? The swastika is the other way around. That's like a Hindu symbol. That's actually, so people get that confused. It's not the swastika, mate. Not a swastika at all. Swastika is the Nazi symbol, it's not that. I guess people see it, they see the tattoos, and they're like, do you have a Nazi symbol? I've got mates who are Hindus. They're like, no, mate, it's a bloody, it's a Hindu, mate. Relax, brother, relax. It's not a Nazi symbol. So there's this guy who walks around Patea. He's got a massive Nazi like tattoo. And dude, I tell you something, he is one word away from getting knocked out, right? He's one word away from getting knocked out, I'm telling you. Check that. But you know how I had that running with the kid? How I had that running with the kid? And I didn't break his arm even though he had a bottle and all that. And it oh, because he's a kid, oh, I thought he's basically a good kid. But if I saw that guy with the bottle, the Nazi tattoo, he'd be getting his arm broken, brother. He'd be getting his arm broken for sure, right? So, I don't know, man, I just, there's so much hate in that symbol. There's so much hate. What they did to the Jews, that was shocking, mate, it was shocking. I went to the Holocaust Museum in uh, Israel, I was in Israel. I spent a year in Israel, I lived on a kibbutz, and I worked like all these different, like, jobs. I actually was earning better money in Israel than I was in England. I went there when I was 18, I did construction. I worked in, like, uh, the border of Egypt and Israel. Um, you know, I worked as a landscape gardener there. I did different jobs when I was in Israel. So, uh, I got a lot of mates who are Jews, mate. Loads of mates. You know, they're all good people. So yeah, I really, I've got a bit of an affinity to the Jews. Like, I, I kind of like them a lot. So, I understand people don't like them. And people don't even like people that like them, right? But, you know, like with the Israel Hamas thing, right? Yeah, it's terrible, that bombing, but what did what did Hamas think they were going to get, mate? Like when I order a pizza, I expect a pizza to arrive at my house, right? When you invade Israel, what do you think you're going to get, mate? What do you think's coming? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I mean they elected Hamas, right? They elected Hamas. They go and invade. They go and do that thing in Israel. Committed terrible atrocities. You think Israel's not going to come back, mate? You think Israel's not going to like exact massive retribution? And I mean Israel won't say it's retribution. But it's retribution. But also, Israel wants a new treaty. Israel just wants to stamp it out completely, right? So, you know, if I was those people and Hamas was planning an attack, I'd be like, uh, oh, excuse me, um, I know you think it's a good idea to plan an attack on Israel, but maybe we shouldn't because maybe they're going to come and destroy half the country, mate. Maybe they're going to come and destroy half the country, right? I knew it was going to happen, mate. I knew it was going to happen. Like, I was in Israel, right? The thing that people don't understand about Israel is there's layers and layers of soldiers, right? You can kill every 20 year old in Israel, right? And guess what? All the 30 year olds are soldiers. Except for the rabbis, all 30 year olds are soldiers. You can kill every 30 year old in Israel and all the 40 year olds are soldiers. You can kill every 40 year old and all the 50 year olds are soldiers. You can kill every 50 year old and all the 60 year olds are soldiers. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like the Israelis, they've got this saying, it's never again, mate, never again. It will never happen again. They are tough, mate. I'm telling you, they, the Israelis are super tough, right? So. Oh, like, you know, I wouldn't be picking a fight with them. <laughs> yeah, and people go, oh, yeah, but, you know, Israel has made, had tried to offer peace settlements. They have tried to offer peace settlements, you know. So I'm not saying, 
Yeah, so anyway, you, you can obviously see my position, right? So I spent a year in Israel. I'm pretty pro Israel. A lot of my mates are Jews. Um, you know, I, I think what Hamas did was uh, atrocious. And I knew, I just knew there was gonna be massive retribution, right? Like, but not even retribution, I mean, Israel, I think Israel's handled it pretty well. Like Israel's not like, yeah, we just, we want revenge. Israel's like, yeah, we're just seeking out Hamas. They're actively trying to not kill civilians, right? Whereas Hamas is actively trying to kill civilians. A big difference, mate, a big difference, you know? Like, I, we, we were, Elon Musk says this, says, if there was an army, who would you want to surrender to, right? Like, would you want to surrender to Hamas? Hamas is going to kill you. I'd surrender to the Israelis, right? Um, you know, like Russia and America, who would you rather surrender to? Would you rather surrender to the Americans, right? Um, so yeah, the, 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 that's just a way of thinking, but, you know, God's share. Check it out. 19 minute walk back. Let's see, let's see how it goes. It's in the dark, so I'm going to rest. Hello, mate, how are you? Those are the mall. So yeah, I'm outside the mall, heading back a 90 minute walk. iPhone in this hand, GoPro in this hand, try not to get um, snatched. I'll use my anti-snatch Aikido if they try and snatch me. So yeah. People, they asked me if I want to support the kids. I was like, nah. And they're like, do you want to support the animals? I'm like, well, if it didn't support the kids, I'm not going to support the animals. Come on, mate. Let's use some logic, you know what I mean? I do, uh, I do charity work, but I do my own charity work, mate, or I work Project Pearls. Project Pearls, check it out, Google Project Pearls. They go into Manila, they do all this stuff, they go into like some of the worst slums in the world. We go in with them, if we go in, they're good people, mate, they're good people, Project Pearls. Just Google it, Project Pearls. That's who I, uh, that's who I go into Tondo with. So they're real good people. Last time we went into Tondo, we were on a feeding program, right? And Jessica wears like this $5,000 diamond studded watch. And I was like, oh, Jessica, you're gonna get us murdered. Good job. So she was like, yeah, I forgot. And, and, and people were saying, is that watch real diamonds? Which it was. And she was like, no, it's fake. I was like, right answer, girl, right answer. It's a fake. It's a, it's a 50 peso fake, man, you know? But it was real, it was real. The thing you gotta watch for in India is concrete trucks, right? Like these steamrollers, concrete trucks. That just kill you, mate. You just, you just get sandwiched and you're dead. So many like, I watch those uh, videos where people get in accidents, just to see what to avoid. And it's so easy, mate. People just in India, they just walk out, and they just get squished. Uh, so it's shocking. This isn't Grand Theft Auto, brother. You don't start the car when I'm walking past, mate. He's like, I got a full stop, I walk past, he suddenly starts it. That's how I play Grand Theft Auto, mate. You know what I mean? Today, when they, I had to get out of the car, they wouldn't refill the fuel with me in the car. They were like, get out of the car, because I was in an Uber, and then he takes me around the back. I thought, oh, I'm gonna get rolled, bruh. I'm gonna get rolled. And then I like, get out of the car, I was like, oh, this is bloody suspicious, mate. You know what I mean? So I got out of the car and they, they, they were like, no, no, we can't fill up gas with someone in the car. I was like, all right, no worries. It's a bit weird, eh? One bay traffic bar. So there's like adult Indians on building sites and stuff. They see you, they start laughing and then they run and get their friends. They probably oh, come, come, you have to have a look. I'm like, brother, I'm not Godzilla, mate. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not King Kong, you know, like, and then their friends, oh, they will want to have a look at you, you know, or take a picture, or... Yeah, they're very friendly people, though. They're very sweet, friendly people. They remind me a bit of the Filipinos, actually. Filipinos are like that. Really, really friendly, friendly, nice, sweet people. Look like cornflakes. Bye. See how the crowd traffic. Hello, how are you? Hi. How 
Oh yeah, hello, hello. Hey. So here we are in here, mate. See, I've got a bit of razor rash, but it's good. It's a really good experience, especially that rock. I know that you like massage my face with this rock. You get me a face massage and I usually use aftershaves. That kind of burned a little bit when he did that, but it was good. Hey. Crossing the road here is a bloody nightmare, mate. See how I'm walking into the traffic? I have no traffic behind me. No one can come up by me. Hey brother. What's up brother? Knuckles. There you go bro. That's right. That's Clay Green. Clay Green. Oh, it's pretty flexible. Boy's flexible mate. Good stretch. I'll be in there tomorrow. Some of these business like the barbers have been passed down father to son, father to son, father to son or for years, for years and years and years, right? Hello mate. For years and years, so, so they just get it right, dude. This doing this stuff since they're very young, it's the family business, you know? Like eight generations have done it, you know. Wow. Hello, how are you? Good bro. Hi. So you go say table tennis. Put out a table. Or bagging things. Button, so you're always updated with our blogs and see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, don't subscribe. I can really care less.